Players are reporting for uh, camp, which opens tomorrow at 11 a.m. Uh, and look, a lot of storylines coming out of that press conference, and we'll get to uh, some of the other ones, but the lead one for me at least is is the timetable for Drake May uh, becoming a little clearer here. And Gerard Mayo uh, asked a bunch of questions uh, about May and what it's going to look like and what it's going to take for him to start. He says that it's going to be Jacoby Brissett at least coming out of the spring. He's the clear starter, but... But if Drake May looks better than Jacoby Brissett, it's not going to be the offensive line issues. It's not going to be uh, a lack of weapons or anything like that. If Drake May looks like the best quarterback coming out of camp and wins the competition, he will be the starter week one. What do you make of that? I don't know if I buy it, but it's the first time we've heard it. Right, I mean, hasn't hasn't the story of this off season been Jacoby Brissett's the guy, and they want to groom and sit Drake May so he can learn the ropes and learn how they want to run their offense? So, to me, that was what stood out the most. Um, said that even if he comes out here and lights it up, it could absolutely happen. Well, now I'm wondering if they're going to give him the opportunity to do that. So, do I buy that he could be the starter week one? I don't. I still don't. Why would the organization or even Elliot Wolf and guys like that say that they want to sit this guy and go with that approach? And then the coach comes out there today and says, oh, we could absolutely have it. Competition everywhere. I'm not buying it. I don't think he's going to, but this is the first time we've heard it. So there's going to be competition at camp. I don't know if you heard that at all. Yeah, that was a theme. That was a theme throughout. It's all about competition here with uh, Gerard Mayo. So just remember that. Don't hold Gerard Mayo to his words because of burning cash and things to that degree. So I'm not buying this one, although it's the first time we've heard about it, and I, I'm now going to hold him to it. If Drake May lights it up in preseason, he should be the starter according to Gerard Mayo. But based off Gerard Mayo's Early history here. I'm not buying a thing that he says. You're right about the track record, right? The burning cash, all that stuff. So, But if we're going to take him at face value uh, today and some of the things that he brought up, it's not going to be about the supporting cast. He was asked about what it's going to look like here. Take a listen. What's the standard for you guys You know, as you're evaluating him? Is it just... Once he's ready, he's ready, or he has to be better than Jacoby. Ryan has to be at a certain spot. What's the? What are you guys watching? To me? Uh, to, to me, to me, it goes back to the same word, and it's competition. It's not about everyone else. It's about does this guy go out there and perform better than Jacoby? No matter who we're talking about. And so, I mean, that's the way. That's the way I kind of see it. All right. So, if we're gonna take him at face value here, which I agree with you, by the way, I don't know if we can. If it has nothing to do with the offensive line, which is something that we've talked a lot about on Zolak and Bertrand, right? Like, you got to protect this kid. If the offensive line is in shambles, you can't roll out your first round pick and future franchise quarterback and, and just let him get absolutely killed behind that line, right? But if it's not about the offensive line and it's not about the weapons and it's just about which quarterback looks the best, Joe Drake May should be your starting quarterback week one. If we're there, there are huge issues. <laughs> There are huge issues and huge red flags in terms of the pick that you just made if he isn't your starter week one based on what Gerard Mayo just said. Listen, if we line the four quarterbacks that they have up, everyone's going to look at that guy, Joe Milton, and be like, ooh, ooh, look look at him. But when they start throwing footballs, they're going to say, wow, look at Drake May. Big, tall, strong arm, young, right, cocky, all those things. It's going to be on display. You're going to see it. You're also going to see a pro mentality from Jacoby Brissett, though. You're going to see a pro that can make good throws, that can run the huddle and all that. And I just wonder if they care more about it looking good, keeping some players happy because there might be a little bit of trust there, instead of, I don't know, maybe the better quarterback with more upside. I'm telling you now, Tim, if he plays well in the preseason and actually wins the job based off what happens in preseason play, uh, and he doesn't, and he's not the starter week one, which, by the way, the betting odds say he's not, plus 185. I don't see it happening. So it's not the line, right? It's not the receivers. It's just they don't want him to play, or is he just not ready? Can he not call the huddle? Does he not know how to, you know, the pass protect? What is it then? Why would he not start week one if it's not because of the line and the receivers and things like that? Jacoby Brissett isn't good. 
He's not good. He's a he's a functional backup. If he plays a few games, like he can keep you afloat. But in terms of going through a training camp with a guy that's the number three pick and has that ceiling, Drake May should light it up versus what Jacoby Brissett's going to look like in camp. So it should be Drake May as your starting quarterback week one. I guess the question is whether or not that's the right decision. So if Drake May is your starting quarterback week one because he looks like the best quarterback, but the offensive line is in shambles, and you know, kind of talked about kind of figuring out who the five best guys are. They're not sure where Mike Ueno is going to be playing, whether that's tackle or guard at this point. Uh, left tackle still seems like that's kind of up in the air based on what Gerard Mayo's comments were there as well. So we're not sure what the offensive line is going to look like here. We know that the weapons aren't elite. I guess my question to you, Joe, is that if Drake May does look like that best quarterback in camp, should he be starting week one? Is that the right decision to start the rookie quarterback just because he looks better than Jacoby Brissett in camp? I don't know. I, I will tell you this. I, I've already um, I've already hook, line, and sinker the idea of Brissett being the starter week one and seeing what they have and letting Drake May learn on the sideline. It sounds like something they believe in. They've sold us on it at this point, and now the coach comes out today. This is what I, I we can get into this, but I missed Bill Belichick today. I want more grunts and snorts and stuff like that instead of this guy. He says too much, <laughs> and now we're talking about it, right? Can I give you one more quote that he said that, that drove me nuts? Yeah, we won't put Drake May in a protective bubble. So then, what was the talk about him not playing then? But you're not going to put him in a protective bubble? Then why not play him? Right? And I looked this up. The other first-round picks that are starting, they're going to they're start right away. The only other one drafted after him is Bo Nix. Yeah. Who's in a comp. But they've already basically given him the job. Why not Drake May? Very interesting. 617-779-0985. Do you want to see Drake May start, one, uh, start week one, I should say? I got to be honest, Joe. I do want to see him start week one. I would prefer it. I don't think you can ruin a quarterback if he's going to be a franchise quarterback. We've seen franchise quarterbacks struggle as a rookie, whether it's going all the way back to Troy Aikman getting killed, whether it's Peyton Manning his rookie year, uh, Josh Allen uh, getting thrown in as a rookie and struggling. I think if you're going to be a franchise quarterback, you are going to ultimately figure things out and overcome some of those struggles. If you're not going to be a franchise quarterback, I think this is a way that kind of speeds up the process in terms of a team figuring out whether or not you can play. So I'm all in on this. I, I want to see Drake May actually start week one, and I would hope, I would hope now, based on what Gerard Mayo just said, that he is your starter week one, because if he's not, I do think that that starts to actually open the door in terms of questions about whether or not you took a guy that is actually capable of being that franchise quarterback. He should look better than Jacoby Brissett. You know, we have the, the graphic up right now on, on NBC Sports Boston. Zoe wants to see him week one. I've now shifted to week one from week six. Bertrand wants to see him week nine, but Bertrand's been talking the whole time about he's going to look better than Jacoby Brissett, but he wants to protect him from the issues on the roster. Gerard Mayo just made it clear that the issues on the roster are not going to impact whether or not they start him week one. So that means that Bertrand actually does want to see now uh, Drake May playing week one. Because if he doesn't play week one, then he doesn't. he's not the quarterback that you thought he was. Yeah, I still think if it's not Brissett week one, it's going to be Bailey Zappi. It's not going to be Drake May on week one. Well, here's the interesting thing, going back to what you were just talking about with Gerard Mayo and saying things that don't necessarily come to fruition. He also had the comment about how that quarterback room was going to look a little different by the time we get to training camp, and we're still sitting here now with four quarterbacks. Yeah. And Bailey Zappi is still here. Yep. And he so, also mentioned Bailey Zappi fourth when he was talking about the quarterbacks yes. every single time. So it's oh. certainly something to keep an eye on uh, moving forward as well.